Hey fellas, and welcome back once again to the realm with the trampoline. So yeah, now we're headed back to whatever it was called, you know? Back to the main part of the game that we're supposed to be on. Yeah, jumping down that cliff is a lot easier than climbing through that building. Excuse me, sir, I'm gonna ignore you. I'm going to try to ignore you. Eh <laughs> eh. He gave up. I would like to return to my world, yes. Let's a go. And a clippy clop back we go. Now I think about it, did I ever go in here? I did. And I can't go back in here. At least not yet. Maybe I will later. We'll see. But for now, that's not the place to go. Let's check that map out. Where are we going? I guess we can go back up here and we'll just head down this way. Which is probably more or less what we were supposed to do to begin with. Partially because I forgot where I was told to go. Got all these little guys hanging around. Excuse me. Not right now, please. Okay, what's this? Well, it's a bridge, obviously, but where to? Oh, that's a big tree. Why is this tree so big? Interesting. Oh, hello. You got a mite crystal. You can use it for enhancements at Blueberry's home. Okay, so we got that. Because hmm. it has to be a little bit more over. Okay, good enough. Then do, do, do. Huh? All right, they're on the tree. But for what purpose? I'm confident this is going to be something at some point. But for now, back down we go. Oh, wait, what's this? That is a patch of nothing. All right, cool. Let's leave the big nice tree alone. Thieving birds on this path. Watch your valuables. Oh, is that what that guy does? Are you a thieving bird? I'll just have you follow me around for now, I guess. Oh, no, it's you. Why does he get tired like that? Okay, we got a thieving bird, hell yeah. These ones should be a little bit cheaper and might be better attacking. We got the crow echo. Okay, so let's see about that. Yep, we have two crows. Alright, that's awesome. I'm the coolest Zelda around. It's another big tree, so maybe that other one isn't special. Eastern Temple, Hyrule Castle, and Seaside Village, so we are going the correct direction. This seems like something, but I guess maybe not. Maybe it's just supposed to match the, uh... that. Oh, hello. Very kind of you, thank you. Oh yeah, and we'll just run around getting money from it, that's pretty cool. I can appreciate that. Let's just follow the regular path from now. I feel like maybe I've been doing too much exploring. Getting lost. Am 
my foes. Oh. Is he getting them? He is. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Let's see, maybe the wolf would be able to do it. Yeah, there we go. What do we get? Seaweed? Kelp? Bubble kelp? Nice. This item can be used to recover hearts, but is more effective when mixed into a drink. Alright, and we got crab. So you got a sand crab echo. I assume that's only a single one. Not really sure what it would be used for, but I guess we'll find out. I guess the fact that he can go underwater is a pretty helpful thing for him specifically. But we've unlocked another thing. Oh yeah, we're supposed to go, go to Jabul's waters. Nice. Yeah. So this waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. Uh-oh. So you've arrived at Jabul waters. Or Jabal. Jabal. Who knows? That miserable little enemy. Alright. We need to find a spot where I can make an entrance into one of the rifts. How about we try to find that giant rift I saw near here? And search there. Jabul Waters Rift is a new mission. Hell yeah. Uh. <laughs> this is a real mess. I've never heard of Lord Jabu Jabu <clears throat> acting like this before. He's out of control. Hello, Jabba Jabba. Who the hell is that? Oh, hi. Welcome to Seaside Village. Lord Jabba Jabba is the great spirit who lives in Jabba Waters. He's usually quite calm, but he's been on the rampage lately. I think it all started when that rift appeared in his den. Yeah. That's the cave where Lord Jabba Jabba rests. You'll find it across the bridge to the east. You can't miss it. Entrance has a specific design. Zelda? Hmm? It might be near the giant rift that I spotted in this area. Oh, what's this? Amiibo? Hey! Oh, postman. It's been a little while since we saw the postman. Hello, I'm the stamp guy. Okay, so you're the, like a cousin of the postman. I've loved stamps since I was a tiny tot, and now I'm Hyrule's highest, hugest stamp fan. I bet you're curious about this stand. This is a stamp stand. A stand for stamping stamps. Aren't stamps great? That plunk when you press one down? To leave a stamp behind, plunk-tacular from start to finish. That's why I love stamp rally. Traveling for stamps, collecting more. Sounds fun, right? Well, not particularly, no, but collecting stuff can be fun. Well, I've created a stamp rally with stamp stands all over Hyrule. Huh? Ready to get ready to rally? I bet you're ready to rally. Sure I am. Really excited. Yeah, you are. Okay, here's your stamp card. You got the first stamp card. This stamp card is a st for the stamp rally for beginners. It was handmade by the stamp guy, and it looks like it. Yes, it does. I know you're gonna have fun because I had fun making it. Now, get a stamping room like you've never stamped before. And I haven't stamped before. Oh, I like how he drew himself, that's pretty cool. Great work, what a stamp. Look for stands like this all over the world and get every stamp. <clears throat> but hey, there aren't any stands underwater or in buildings. And they're not in caves either. That'd be way too dangerous for my tastes. I'd give you I'll give you a reward if you fill up that card with stamps. Push yourself to find them. Okay, all together now, ready, set, go stamp rally. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go stamp some rallies. Can I look at that in my thing? Yeah. I just wanna see <laughs> see the Giga Chad stamp man. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, so we got a cat who happens to be selling fish. He says, 
and an old man who is selling boats. I was out to see you when Lord Jabu Jabu attacked all of a sudden. I barely escaped with my life. Oh yes, I was on the waves minding my own business and he hit the boat hard. I've been too scared to go back out to sea ever since. Can I get it? Can I get in your boat? I want to get in the boat. Give me your boat. This is my boat now. Commandeering it. I can, however, walk over the fish. So that's pretty cool too. Let's see, this is no longer the town. I'm gonna go and walk. I thought maybe there'd be like a cave or something I can go into. There is not. Unfortunate. I don't hate the diving mechanic in this game. So that's nice. Can't wait for the water temple to make me hate it. Which I suppose is coming up real soon. Oh, another cat. Would you look at that? Yep, he has something similar to say to the other guy. I am so, so bored. Why don't you jump in the water? They say I can't leave the village because it's dangerous, but I want to play with the Zora. The Zora is the Zora. <laughs> you know what? This guy's got a point. Some are in the, up in the river and others are out at the sea. And all they, they all play music and they're all great. Oh, and their chiefs are always squabbling. He seems to have a pretty good grasp of politics. Oh, I can get in a boat. Hey, angry looking bearded guy. With a little thingy of a thingy. And a set of thingies. Nice. And he's got a lobster under his bed. This guy's cool as hell. Oh. Soldiers came here looking for that princess what's-her-name. I guess she escaped him. Yeah. I wonder if I'd get a reward if I returned her in. Why, yeah, why, I oughta. He's gonna betray me if he gets the chance. Can't trust this guy at all. Alright, back out we go into another boat. Is he coming home? He might be. I'm gonna go into your house for now. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. One of those nice things about living here is that I can hear the Zora perform nearby. The sea Zora music blah, play music that's graceful and the river Zora play with real gusto. I'm seasick a lot of the time. The Zora music helps me feel <coughs> a little better. Oh, so they, they all have this little thingy, this little setup here. Interesting. This looks like they got a chopped up squid there too. Maybe it's a squidstable. I don't know. These guys are readers. Have a lobster in their drawer rather than the bed. That's still respectable, I'd say. For now, let's go talk to that worried lady. Oh, that son of mine. He's always doing things his own way, isn't he? Oh, you didn't mean to grumble that loudly. My son, An Anub, Anubi, hasn't come home in a while. That boy's surely sleeping in the woods in the north again. Why'd I bother making him a meal? Well, if you're heading that way, could you take some grilled fish to him? I'll get it for you. Wait here. Sorry, I know it's a lot to carry to him. I really wish he didn't make us go to all this trouble. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you something really important. There have always been hungry monsters lately in the wood where he naps. Watch out. Just let me know if that grilled fish goes bad. Thanks for delivering it. You learned grilled fish. Echo. So, I guess I'll just carry this. Maybe? Is that what we're supposed to do? I don't know. Let's go to the woods. Can we even get to the woods? I guess this is what she meant. Ah, I understand. Okay. Yep. Oh. 
do release. Nope. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oh well. We'll just hope this works out. This seems evil. It's locked. So I have to defeat all the guys in here. Ooh, no, I missed the thing. Oh, into the water he goes. And the chest is unlocked. Cool. Okay, my wolf also died in the water, so I feel a little bit bad about that. Alright. You've got ten river horses. These creatures have distinctive mouths. You can't use them in their current form. And there he is. So, let's see. I'm hoping that I can use a fish echo to feed him. I don't know. Hey, Mom, where's my snack? Okay, here is your snack, buddy. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, smells good, but not like, oh, I have to bring him the actual one. Ah, okay, well. That's gonna make things a lot harder. Back to town, back to town. It didn't go bad, it just got crushed by the weight of a wolf that I accidentally placed on top of it. Oh, you're back. I'm guessing that grilled fish for my son went bad. Wait, here, I'll get you another one. Yes, you will. Thank you very much. You are such a caring lady. All right, it's a good thing I stocked up so I can make another. My son should be in the woods north of here. Thanks for uh, helping take this grilled fish to him. So those monsters are also going to be back at it again, I guess. I wonder if throwing it would break it. Could I do that? I don't know. Uh -huh. Place that. I need that trampoline again. I should be able to jump on maybe the trampoline. Wait. Let's make a bed first. Where's the beds at? Okay. There we go. Now we need the trampoline. It's all about the ingenuity. Where did the trampoline go? Okay, lift. And place. Mmm, something smells amazing. My mom's grilled fish. She came all this way to bring it to me. Thanks, I'm starving. Time to dig in. Mmm, crispy, salty, juicy, perfect in every way. This grilled fish is the best. So, so is my mom. Delicious. My tummy is satisfied. Mm. Tell my mom thanks. I'm gonna get a nice post-meal nap here. Alright. Fine. I guess I'll be your delivery service worker. Ugh. Beepity boppity. Get off my property. But either way, that's another little side quest done. Presumably. Unless something else happens. <laughs> Did you lure that grilled fish to my son? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Huh? He went back to sleep after oh. reading it? That boy, I swear he spends the entire day just sleeping and reading. <laughs> ah, sorry. Just thinking aloud again. I'll get you a reward for your hard work. I'm grateful for your help. Please take this. You got more ten pieces of bubble kelp. I'll leave some grilled fish here, too. Take as much as you want. Aye. If I grill any fish, I'll leave it here for you. Take a hunk of whatever you want. Okay. Uh. Honestly, that son of mine, he's always napping so much. 
All right, cool, 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 cool. And now we've got a store. Hey, who are you? With Lord Jabba Jabba wreaking havoc, our village has few customers. I miss having visitors. It's just so sad on top of more sad because we can't go out fishing in our boats either. Okay, what have we got? Welcome, is there anything I can help you with? I'd like to chat. Welcome to Seaside Village Shop. Some Zora told me that the rifts have appeared around the whole Jabba Waters area. I heard that it's dangerous to get close to the rifts. Dark monsters come out of them. All right. What is this? Blue potion, energy recovery. Drink to recover energy. This potion tastes odd, but it's wonderfully invigorating. Just browsing. What have we got here? Drink this, will recover hearts and energy. Very effective, but kind of bitter. Okay. We'll go for a little, little bit of that. Oh yeah, dude. You got a purple potion. Drink it to recover hearts and energy. That is not my regular bottle. Thanks a bunch. Okay, let's see. So yes, yeah, so it's okay. So the fairy bottle is specifically for fairies, then. Good to know. And drinks is drinks. Beans is beans. Okay. Well, we've explored, I think, all of the village now. Let's check down here, make sure we didn't miss anyone. No? Didn't miss this, though. Hey, you got an underwater bike crystal. That is so cool, dude. But yeah, that is going to be it for today. So, thank you guys for watching. Where's my bed? I need to go to sleep. Seaside nap time. But yeah, as I said, thank you guys for watching. I will be back later. And uh, please like and subscribe. Ooh, you actually get hearts from this. I never realized. Guess I wasn't injured. But yeah, cool. That's, that's good to know. Maybe you'll get a nicer bed later too to recover hearts faster. I don't know. Either way, thank you guys for watching and bye-bye.